and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique Wargaming Terrain. This is the weekly Wednesday Warhammer slash Wargaming questions and answers. This is an off the cuff video guys. For those of you who are new here, what does that mean? I film and I upload. I don't edit nothing. As you can see I was like messing up there. Um, those of you who are new here guys, this weekly Wednesday is all to do with model, model focus, model information, you know, bits and pieces to do with models and help your models. I might talk about painting tips here and then show you on the painting video those tips. Because it's like talking about something, but actually showing you, you know, um, those of you regular here, guys, I feel the love. Now, some of you think, John, you're, you're a bit weird off camera. In front of me, I've got a tray full of um, paint stripper because I've got some lead models in there that the paint, the white spirit wouldn't take it off, so I'll just put them in that to get rid of it get the paint off of it behind me i've got this this week's terrain build which is insane undersprayed okay not the whole thing just parts of it because i if you're you know you see a few, a few videos here you'll see i can make the same mistake again i glue something together make it together and then the underneath is still not painted i have to struggle to get in there so before i do that i'm underspraying all the underneath and it's that's insane what i'm what i'm building is going to be insane just seeing me put dry fit together is like, well, that's, you know, that's that's the hardest part and that's pretty good. Now, there's a few updates for you guys this week. I have a few simple questions to answer and I have something to show you as well. Now, let's start with the first update. If you recall last week, I was waiting for UPS to come with my codexes. They lost them again. They lost them. They've lost them twice now. So I actually went into Warhammer in Dublin and uh, spoke to your man in there. He said to me, just contact, uh, contact head office and they will, you know, they'll chase you up and sort you out. If worst case scenario, they'll send a copy to the store. You know, bits pieces that you want to the store and you come to the store and pick it up, which is a lot better. But during lockdown, you, you can't do that because the store's closed. So that's where I'm at with that. Imperium Magazine. Now, I have been told... My main man told me, okay, the movie nut, he told me 25th of August. You know, so we're both like, oh yeah, yeah, can't wait for it. Now I I know it's coming. I didn't know I didn't know date until he told me. So guys, if you if you haven't subscribed to the Imperial Magazine, there's two things you need to do. First thing is check see if it's coming to your area. Because some countries are not getting it, which is a shame because it's absolutely insane. Um and the second thing is, look at what's in it. Because if you play, say, for example, Orcs, there's no Orcs in there. You can get them on the premium pack, which is absolutely an amazing thing as well. But they're not, they don't come in the basic, you know, basic box coming in. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's going to be a weekly magazine. You get about two or three issues a month or something like that. Maybe even more, first go. But you get models of it. There's paints there's all these other little brucey bonuses dice and you know all that sort of stuff there's some even some you know plastic terrain in there and so you go oh, okay well it's 40k there's a heap of sisters of battle in there or sister sor sororitas there's heaps of space marines including rebuti gunnerman which is a 50 50 quid model there's um some adeptus mechanicus uh i think that's it on the goody side on the good guy side on the xenos side there's just necrons absolutely insane necrons so if you've got the imperium box and you can get this as well you're going to have such a, a huge necron force me and me and the moving up are actually laughing about how much <laughs> how that's going to add to my pile of shame you know um but anyway so i went to get some flock okay i went to mark's models in dublin system flock and they were they were out of the two mil and all that business, so I ended up getting some wind wild grass extra large. It's twelve mil. Okay, some of you go, oh, twelve mil too big. This is a little trick I'm going to show you now, guys. So what I've got here, scissors. Be careful when hand, when using scissors, guys. I've got two sheets of newspaper, so sort of crease in the middle. Okay, some of you are going to go. I know what you're doing. Now what I'm going to do. I've got an empty jar. Where did I put it? Oh, next to me. What I'm going to do is 
open it up. Now, because it's in the bag and there's a little bit of stag on it, it's not going to fly out everywhere. What I'm going to do is just carefully open it up. So you, can see, you can see how it's all put together. And what we're going to do, it comes out a little bit like cotton wool. Okay. When I say cotton wool, it's all like clumped together. Let me show you. I'm losing bits there. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'll take scissors, and I'm going to cut it over the newspaper. So you're going to say, why are you doing that for? Because now I'm cutting it down to two mil, three mil, all that sort of stuff. And why am I doing it over the newspaper? Because I'm going to get through this little section. Yes, some of it is going to fall out of your hands and land, you know, in the newspaper. But that's good. I'll tell you why in a second. Because I'll just get this last little, this last few bits. Now I'm using big chunky scissors here. You could use nail scissors would be good. This is tedious. It is, you know, a lot of messing around. But there's no two mil, so. For me to get two milk and model size, I need to improvise, which is what I'm doing here. So we'll just trim this last bit down, clean the scissors off. Now, what I have here, guys, let me get the top of the jar. Grab this up. See how I've done? Just tilting the, tilting the newspaper. Give a gentle shake, let it go in. Best way to do is actually hold the newspaper, not the jar. Right, so now we've got a nice little bit in there. Now, some of it is still, you know, quite big, and some of it is have gone back together. But look, he's you can see that falling down. It's all small pieces falling down. Okay. So all I'm going to do, not now obviously, I'm not going to do it on camera, but I'm going to keep working away and making that smaller and smaller and smaller. So I have little bits like that. Okay. Now my estimation, that's this is the, me looking at eyesight. There's probably somewhere between four. To five mil, somewhere in that area, strands. So that's pretty good. So I've got a nice big bag of 12 mil, and all I have to do is cut it down, trim it down. So, what I'm saying to you guys is if you go to get flock, you know, static grass, and they don't have the two mil or the three mil, four mil, or something like that, then get the bigger one, okay, and just trim it down. Just keep trimming it down, keep trimming it down, keep trimming it down. Over a newspaper. And pick it up and pour it straight into your container. Now, I could, what I could do with this as well is I could have the newspaper set out. I could get my sieve, pour it into the sieve, and then just work it through the sieve. So again, it breaks up even more. It's not going to break up much, but it is going to break it up and separate it out a bit. Now, when I come to glue that onto the model, because it's not all cut to two mil or three mil or four mil, you're going to have some different different heights and different lengths. So when I glue it to the model. It's all going to be like clumps of grass, grass as it should be. Instead of like nice little clumps, it's going to be all, all over the place. It's very, very sneaky. So just hope that helps you guys. If you go to a, go to a model to get a flock and you're oh, they haven't got my size I want. Oh, get a bigger size. Now, uh, painting your video. I enjoyed your painting video. Are you going to paint in the units? Yeah. Now, so far I've done... The Dean Prince and I've done the Death Master. I want to do a unit, but here's the problem I have. On my day off, I come out here and I do it first thing in the morning. Okay, you know, I paint that's paint the one to one model. I have everything prepped up, ready to go. Um, but for me to do unit, I was looking at unit cows nice. But for me to do them because they're all undercoated and graveled and all you know, all just bang ready to go. For me to do them, what I would have to do. Is paint up most of them to finish 
and have one or two of them that are one's undercoated black ready to go you know and that's the way i would have to do it so i could, so I could do it all fill it into one video rather than painting five or six or I think it's seven guys there you know same with a unit of 20 guys i'd have to paint up most of them and then just do so many on camera so i want to do a unit but it's just a little bit it's a, not time restraints to have at the moment you know so because i full-time work and everything else so it's it is a little bit of time restraints for me to do that and I, what i want to do is the i'm still not happy with the lighting and i'm still trying to figure out the lighting i think the, the imprints video excuse me the lighting on that was better but it was a lot harder to paint it okay because the way i had the light and everything else so i've got some white foam board i'm thinking of cutting it down and making a white sort of box so i can blast the light into it so it reflects around the model you know that's what i'm thinking of and i actually need to have a bit of time to look at some youtube channels that i do painting on to see if they use you know see if i can pick up anything that they use and you know, that's that's where i'm at with that so that answers the other question i have about part of shame has coming on it, it's sort of coming along slowly um are you do you have other skaven to paint yes i do i have about five thousand points of skaven um Quite a lot of it is body, legs, you know, or body, legs, head, arms, no tail, you know, that sort of thing. I have heaps of models from the um, 8th edition Warhammer box game, Skaven. I have the high elf stuff and I'm not going to paint that. I'm actually going to, I'm actually thinking a bit of giving that on a giveaway. Um, I also come across a heap of Black Library books that I haven't read. I'm never going to read. They're just sitting in a storage box. I'm probably going to do them on the giveaway as well. Um, so talking about giveaways, guys. If you haven't seen the July giveaway video, scroll down and have a look. All you need to do on that video is like it, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and comment on there to say which piece of terrain you want to go in for. Now, no one's, a few people have liked it, but no one's commented anything. My guess is people are going to wait to the last minute and try and just jump on the last minute. Don't do that, guys. Chuck it in there now because I'll tell you why. If you leave it to the last minute, you'll end up forgetting about it or something will happen and you won't be able to get to, you know, to, get to your phone or your computer and, and, and do it. So just chuck a comment on it now. What piece of terrain you want, you've liked, liked the video, you subscribe to the channel, you know. Never leave nothing to the last minute. If you do it now, do it now. Okay. But I also want to say a big thank you to everyone because I have 46 subscribers now. Absolutely fantastic. You know, the channel's just growing very, very nice. Well done, everyone. And if you're new here, guys, you know, join us, hit the buttons and join us. So I hope, I hope some of this has helped. I actually wanted to this week. I prepped him up ready to do it. And I, you know, so much has gone on and I forgot about him. Until I've just seen them going, oh no, I wanted to show you feathers. So I've spoken about how to paint feathers before and cloaks, you know, and, and magic swords, magic weapons. But he's got a power sword, so I can show you how to do that as well. It's the same sort of thing. I will probably do that next week, okay? As well as answer some questions. If nothing else pops up, <laughs> there's a lot of things going on. So that's for next week. Guys, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and I'll see you next week. Take it easy guys.